there's so much to practice now that we'd give you a completely other a new folder for practicing called Bob Ross Practice. I'm going to pop it open and um, also open up the finished result. So you can open up the finished result. Um, so you can see what it looks like. There's a bunch of comments in here so that you can understand what is going on in the page and what you should be striving to do. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do these one at a time. So I like to do, as much as possible, I like to work sort of from the large elements of the page in towards the small elements and um, from the back of the page forward in the layering order. Um, it just It's an organization in my mind and it helps me work smoothly. It also, dealing with the large, the largest chunks of the page first allows me to get the widths right and the general padding and look at the page right before I start tweaking little numbers um, for the smaller sections. So with that in mind, I am going to start with the, um, the background of this page here. Let's have a look. I'm in the Bob Ross practice folder inside, inside our week six lab folder. And um, there's going to be, so some of this is done for me, and then some of this I'm going to need to mark up myself. The first thing I need to do is I need to make a new CSS file. So I'm going to do that by control clicking in the left hand side of brackets and saying new file and um, style.css. So I think depending on your instructor, your instructor may want you to put the, the CSS inside the assets folder. We have a folder for it here, so I, I think I'll, I'll put it there. Can I drag it in brackets? No. Um, I'm not in the habit of putting it inside an, an assets folder like this only because um, that's not where WordPress stores it. And we're kind of taking you towards um, towards WordPress. So let me quickly move it though, since we do we did make an, a style a CSS folder for you there. While I'm here, I think I'll pick up the normalized style sheet from the internet and copy it in to my folder. Let's get that, save that into my folder. I could have also copied it from the picture frame background practice, but now I have all the CSS files that I should need and I can move forward. Now I'm going to go ahead and link those into my HTML file before I forget to do that. We have the classic thing is to start editing your CSS and nothing's working and nothing's working and then like, you know, 10 minutes later, hopefully only 10 minutes later, you realize that you didn't link it in the head. Ha! <laughs> the life of a web designer. Okay, so um, link rel equals style sheet. I'm going to do the normalize. Um, here's the href. Do the normalize one first and then follow with um, my own style sheet. Okay, that should be enough to link in everything that I need. Sometimes I even do a quick uh, sanity check, what I call a sanity check, which is, is my CSS really working? So I could do something like body, background, red, and then just open it up in the browser um, and refresh it to make sure that I am, I've got everything set up the way it needs to be set up before I start stressing out. Yep, looks like my CSS is loaded. Great onward. So instead of a red background color, I think I'll put on that background image and then we'll take a look at the at the largest the larger container object. Um, because oh so this is interesting. So because my um, my style sheet is stored inside the CSS folder inside the assets, I have to back up a folder using dot dot slash um, to find my images. So that was a worthwhile reason for putting this in the assets folder anyway, just to help us practice dot dot slash to back up a folder. Um, here's the background image. And um, this looks like it is tiling, so let's have a look. There's my background image. So if I go, if I go over to my, um, let me pull this down a little bit so we can see better. So this is, uh, there's my background image. Um, now I'd like to deal with this, this white area of the page. So right now it's not white. And I need to figure out how wide it is. This arrow says the width of this white, white container is 60%. As you resize, this width, of, this width will change. So I need to set this width to 60%. So what is the name of this big container? Let's go have a look. We may need to create it ourselves. 
Uh, actually, yes, it looks like there is no large container inside the body. It's just the body tag. So I'm going to create one right now and call it container. And go down to the bottom and close it up here. You want to beautify as you go along to keep the indents nice, you can do that. And now that I have a container div, um, it means I can go ahead and style that using container. How you organize your selectors like body versus container is, um, is your own, there's lots of different ways to do it. You can organize layout versus text styles. Um, and then in, if so, you can have general categories for your styling. And then in general, I like to kind of group things for, from general to more specific. So body is pretty general. It's on the very back of the page. Container is a little more specific. Let's get that white background color in there. And um, I might just make this a little bit more specific here. So if I have background image on the body and a background color on the container, this is what it looks like. Now would be a good time to push this down to its 60% width, since I'm right here in the rule already. And that brings me to here. So that's, that's looking pretty good. Um, what else do I have to do? Um, it looks like I need to modify this font, um, some kind of sans serif font, let's say Arial. I forgot to specify it in the uh, PDF, but by the time you get this PDF, I'll make sure it's in there. Yep, I'll call it Arial and Sans Serif. Let's put a default body, a default font family on the body. Font family, Arial, Sans Serif. And let's say that the font size is 100%. Save. That's some good, uh, some good stuff on the container. In the next video, let's see, in the next video we will pick up and do, maybe we'll do a little bit of uh, padding inside the container and then get that um, background image of Bob Ross in there.